It's like the most vague threat. Like, bitch, we know you don't have a lawyer. What the fuck is up, bitch? First things first, I... I... I have been bombarded with emails for probably the last 48 hours on a certain riding facility that I am not going to name in this video. I think more information needs to come out before I feel comfortable speaking on this issue. I am going to talk about this in a generalization because I think this happens all too often. I think that this happens to horses everywhere, not just at this one particular location. I sat down and I was like, should I make a video about this one facility or should I make a video generalizing facilities like this? Because I know that we all remember the video that I made two or so years ago on this facility that literally straight up neglected and abused their animals. And oh, guess what? Now we have another facility in the news that does the same exact thing. I don't want to include anything about them because I think that this is getting dangerously close to legal action being taken on either side. And honestly, I don't have the fucking time to deal with a lawsuit because Lord knows that I get hit with lawsuit threats on a daily fucking basis. It is not that I'm afraid of anything. It's just that bitch doesn't want to fucking deal with your bullshit right now, okay? Oh, I'm gonna get my lawyer involved. Oh, I'm gonna send you cease and desist. I know, bitch. I fucking heard it. Do you want to like pull out your shotgun too? Because I highly doubt that'll scare me at this point. Anybody who pulls out the lawyer card automatically doesn't have a lawyer and they're literally just fucking playing with you trying to scare the piss out of you to get people to stop. It's like the most vague threat. Like, bitch, we know you don't have a lawyer. Many people who live in Shimokin are upset that Dunkin' Donuts is closed. If I have any like legal work that I need to do, I go there. I meet with my attorneys there. However, I think it's important to sit down and I think it's important to talk about facilities like this and why you should not support them ever. <sighs> Lord help me. I'm talking about facilities that exclusively make their money off exploiting horses, AKA like at the Grand Canyon, uh, certain types of scenic trips, um, anywhere that you have a facility that just rents out to people for parties, birthdays, beach rides, any of that jazz. Most of the time, those horses are tied up for hours and hours and hours a day, or they're left in pens with saddles on, creating like extreme pain, saddle sores, uh, discomfort. Uh, they're not clean at all. They don't have adequate grooming or brushing. Definitely not veterinary care in most cases. Oftentimes in certain climates or environments, you'll get horses that are left out in the hot sun or in the freezing cold for hours and hours for people to rent them out and just like use them for their own personal gain. These are most of the time people who don't know anything about riding, which brings me to my next point, is that it's dangerous. These horses are rented out to people who don't know anything about riding, who can literally just throw a leg over and be like, look at me, I can walk, I can sit on a fucking horse, and then they take off and they, you know, run the horse around without knowing anything about them, which puts them and the horse in danger at extreme risk. Most of these facilities are not regulated. Most of them do not have to abide by specific rules or laws and what's the most frustrating Especially in the most recent case that came out is that animal welfare the local police department, etc Etc are so reluctant to get involved with any facility No matter if their horses are underweight overweight unkempt any of that They're so unwilling to get involved if the horses just have minimum food and water which is absolute bullshit That was my biggest problem Problem with the facility I talked about about two years ago the police department literally was like well we're not gonna do anything because the horses had food and water bitch that doesn't mean anything just because horses have food and water does not mean they're well cared for a lot of the time these facilities overwork really really old lame horses as well you want to know why because those horses are very unlikely to buck or throw people because they're old they don't have the energy they're lame they're hurt these facilities do not regulate the treatment of their animals and you see this time and time again and i'm so sick i'm so fucking sick of seeing facilities like this 
this in the news. I cannot tell you how many people have sent me emails over the last two years since I made my other video on horse riding facilities nose to butt who are like, look at this facility, look at this facility. And every single one of them have issues. Every single one. A lot of times people get way too many horses. They get way in over their head. They have way too much overhead costs and animals to care for. They can't afford the veterinary treatment. They can't afford the farrier treatment. They can't afford to feed their horses or give them a quality environment. A lot of times you have uh, unauthorized or unethical breeding at these facilities that's completely done entirely wrong. Animals that are trained wrong. You know, you put the general public at risk. You put horses' lives at risk. This topic frustrates me more than any other because I think as equestrians, it's on us to say no. No, you should not own and operate facilities that exploit animals, period. And as an equestrian, it is your responsibility to tell people, bitch, get your lazy ass up and go take a horse lesson, Jessica. Don't just go rent a horse that's like, you know, three sheets to the wind lame, that can barely walk, isn't groomed, already tacked up and been tacked up all day with five saddle sores just because you want to get your jollies off on a fucking trail ride that you're going to, you know, yeehaw your way through when you don't know shit about horses and you're, you can basically almost die. Jessica, I am so unbelievably sick and tired of seeing facilities like this in the news. I am so sick and tired of seeing people shocked. Oh my God. Oh my God, no way. They treat their horses like that? Why are you surprised? They literally make a living off of renting out horses to morons who have no idea, have never even sat on a horse before, don't have a lick of training. So that's my rant for today. I'm sorry, I was gonna come on here, I was gonna make a very in-depth and detailed video on this riding facility, but I figured I would just make this video to generalize why people should not go and support nose-to-butt riding facilities, point blank, period. This is not about one particular facility. This is about all the facilities out there that mistreat their animals. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. This is my Love Your Horse hoodie. Make sure to go pick those up. That link is down below. Thank you so much for listening to this rant. I am going to start doing live streams every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you would like to join me. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.